Okay, let's see if things change when uh, the new day arises. Surely we have more than... I have 1,000 airplanes being deployed there. Is it that it's too many? Well, the Americans sure love their tactical bombers. Or is that they're held up elsewhere? I can... You know, not at the best of times I can understand these things. So for here, here for example, I have 500 or 1,000 in total airplanes, but for some reason zero of them are deployed. Is it that they don't have um, any supplies that get through? Could it be something like that? I mean here I have naval bombers deploying from reserves, which is fine. Unfulfilled import requests. It's uh, for now fine. I mean I have nothing I can do about that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now things are changing a bit. Now things are changing a little bit. I'm getting up my airplanes. They are doing the work they have they're intended to do. The only thing is the eastern seaboard is a dangerous area to approach. But how's it going with the naval stuff? Well, I'm dominating the coast here near the Americas. Uh, which means I could probably use my this flotilla here for... Let's do search and destroy. Or let's just do um, patrol. Just to allow, you know, our invasion navies and stuff like that to say, you know, everything is fine, let's go ahead. These 11 divisions have not reached yet yet. We also have American troops. Oh god, I accidentally hit the microphone. I apologize if I, for some reason, manage to, uh, you know, miss to edit this out for any inconvenience when it comes to hearing. Uh, I don't think the American divisions here can actually attack since they are in... since they are in officially neutral territory. So they can't attack from neutral territory, if I recall correctly. So that is a plus for us. And uh, perhaps we can go and take the Balearic Islands at long last. The Americans are somehow inside. Here, I have the Gibraltar Sea, I have everything. How can they be inside? Inside and attacking convoys. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe they can through annoying measures. No, but through uh, submarines being able to penetrate. That that seems reasonable. We can even read that if... Is that the case? Mission type enemy, submarines can pass. Yeah, submarines can pass, in fact. So that makes all the sense. Venezuela is in the war. I could go for Port Au Prince, but I would need to have some troops for that. I believe I do have some marines that I could transport over. They could, you know, assume the starting position here in uh, Jamaica and then island hop around. How's it going over here in Canada or Australia? Well, Alkenleck is ready for his de deployment of, of this plan, the naval invasion. He is covered all along the way by various fleets and air force things. Air Force things, yeah. So hopefully that will be enough for him to get over there. Uh, let's see here. The Baleares. We are invading here, but we are getting targeted by the USS Navy groups, which are many of them. Can I see which type of submarines they have? Submarine 2 primarily fighting there. So not too advanced, thankfully. I lost uh, one destroyer in uh, port strikes. But should be able to deal with their, their stuff fairly efficiently. How's the Americans doing now when it comes to airplanes? Well, it's about the same, if not more. Uh, they have managed to close my foothold since I wasn't prepared for this, you know, thing to happen this fast. I have now gotten one more carrier. 
British homeland fleet, South Atlantic fleets. So let's combine some stuff, I suppose. These can just combine to make another fleet, or they could join up with an existing fleet. Make use of that. I don't have any fleet right now in the Bermuda. Actually, I do have one that it assumes from Bermuda, Bermuda and goes there about their business. This one, for example, which now lost one light cruiser for two enemy destroyers. Not a brilliant result at all. But they, they don't have the easiest fight in the world to deal with. Yeah, let's try to knock them out if possible. And I will build up some replacement ships for them. So I will just save, keep them in reserves, essentially. There we go. Unread naval convoy raided battles results, whatever. Yeah, interesting stuff. Lost five naval bombers for 19 of their close air support. That is fine. Completely fine. So we have 11 divisions now ready. I would love to retake, you know, parts of my territory, if you don't mind. William Slim, you have been reassigned for duty. You will assume control here and uh, try to retake Labrador. Hopefully at a good speed as well. It will take you 38 days, unfortunately, to be ready here. Oh, this is a nice victory. Carrier naval bombers versus, um, you know, destroyers and light cruisers from the Canadian fleet. And was victorious in this exchange. How's it going for Aukenleck here? Apparently there's one division that's decided to take its own little path to reach... Um, here is where they need to be. Here we have Mexican troops that have been given to America. We also have the Philippines here in the middle. That kind of needs to be dealt with. Fortunately, I don't have any forces to do so, but it will be dealt with somehow. I have some troops that are just standing about. Like here we have Alan Brooks troops. Oh yeah, I forgot about Alan Brook. Alan Brooks army is interesting. Since it is a fair, like, is a is a good army. It can be used for things. Maybe I should transport it to Venezuela or El Salvador and use it from El Salvador. Or maybe I can use it. Oh, from British Mexico, and then I can declare war on Mexico. Yeah, I can. It would take ten days as well to bring Mexico into the war. Okay, Alan Brook. This is not good though. He doesn't have a very good naval base here. So perhaps I need to build one. Oh no. Oh god. So close. Okay, so we don't need two naval bases in uh, Jamaica. That's just unnecessary. What we will do, however, is upgrade the one that we have here. To service us. And then we will take... Basically, the parts of Alan Brooks' army that we will need the most. Which will be um, this motorized division, motorized division, motorized division, motorized division, infantry, marines, marines, tank brigade. These divisions will be the primary, primary ones. They will be split off into their own army, 11 divisions, to begin with at least, under Neil Ritchie which will be transported all the way to Guatemala. There will be the spearhead and then we can supply with more troops from Allen Brooks army whenever we need, essentially. Is there anywhere where they have landed? So far they have not landed anywhere. No, no American landing sighted. And we have actually landed now in uh, over here. We need to take Darwin. We really do need to take Darwin. That will be highest priority. We need a harbor. But just in case we don't manage to get a harbor, I will uh, make my own, just like I did before. Artificial, artificial harbor. Northern Bahamas. 
That harbor is not really going well. It's being heavily bombarded, the one in Bahamas. Against uh, my best efforts of preventing it from, from being bombarded. Uh, how is it going with... Let's see here. Heavy fighters. We're not producing any of those. Let's see. Transport planes. Fighter. 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 Here we go. 16,000 fight. 16, fighters in reserves. Which is fine. That is quite a lot, in fact. Is there any one of these that can reach a decent seaboard? No. We cannot reach a decent seaboard. Which is jam-packed with American fighters of various kinds. And I assume also the American Navy. So in reality, what I should do with my fleet is avoid it from going in there. Because the eastern seaboard is just too dangerous at the moment. I can't reach with air superiority in that region. What I can do is having air superiority pretty much everywhere else. It was challenged a little bit in Sargasso Sea, but it seems to have stabilized by now. Let's see here. Escort efficiency, sure, why not? Have we reached Darwin yet? We apparently have not. Well, let's go around it then. Let's go around and take Darwin. We need that naval base. So yeah, the war has started, albeit fairly slowly. The United States is not even the leader of the war. Somehow Venezuela has managed to lose 91,000 men in the war so far. Probably through some stupid naval landing somewhere. I don't even know how do you manage Venezuela. You're not really fighting it. You're just uh, sitting there, not doing anything. What has happened to the fleet here though? Has it disintegrated completely, or has it just had to run back? What was the name of it anyway? This is the East China Sea, that's a different fleet. Yeah, this is a completely different fleet. What fleet could it be then? Let's see here. Mediterranean Fleet, Eastern Canada, Channel Force. It could have disintegrated completely, I assume. I mean, it's possible. Ah, oh well. Oh well. You never know. What's important, though, is that we're somewhat winning. One way or another. Some way winning. I suppose Bahamas was a bit, you know, a bit too dangerous. Uh, but perhaps we can add uh, this one to take over the responsibilities. This is a pretty good fleet, after all. They should be able to handle such unfortunate events. I mean, this is just so many destroyers. So many destroyers. And here we have even more ships. Uh, how is we going with... Okay, I need to pause. How are we going now when it comes to oil? I assume still bad. No, we actually have a surplus now. Since the Venezuelan one kicked in. But I can never trust the Venezuelans to do things correctly. Unfortunately. What I can do now is to do nuclear reactors. That seems like a fun thing. So we should probably get some nuclear reactors done all across Europe. There we go. Just a few nuclear reactors here and there. And be careful not to mess up any of my current plans. It means I need to go up here and make sure that, for example, the naval base in... Um, Uh, what British Mexico will be built primarily. There we go. Everything is completed and is in order. Here we have a naval, naval battle. Uh, 
Oh no. The American fleet is actually surprisingly large. Surprisingly large and is challenging us. Which is not good. Uh, oh, the Marines have arrived. So they will basically just be given the task of taking Port Our Prince. Yep, that's all they need to do. And when they're ready, attack. How's it going for these troops? Well, they are in place at least. Neil Richie's fellas, that's, that's their official title. Well, reach. Uh, don't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Guatemala. That's fine. This should only take a couple of days. Uh, how are we doing with research when it comes to naval invasion? We really, I really need to take this one. So whatever I'm doing now, I need to kind of cancel it. It's more important. Uh, Americans losing destroyers is always good news. Oh god, they have been... They have a lot of random stuff. Air wing fighters... Oh, so it's the carrier stuff. I assume they have leftovers from the fleet that disintegrated. Unfortunate when stuff like that happens. Okay. We still have not taken Darwin, which is bad news for our army. Which is now starting to run out of supplies. Yep, yeah, I have low supply. Issues everywhere. Which makes it all the more important that one northern territory is being built. Completely forgot about. Can we not reach Darwin at all? No, we cannot. They are winning everywhere else. This is turning into disaster. Can we retreat? Okay, re retreat at least. We need to get some, some um, resources here. But we need to get that harbor up. And you need to defend yourselves until the harbor is done. Luckily we are keeping them a bit occupied until the main army can reach there. So that's the only good news over here. Other than that, everything is just going crap. Hopefully they won't reach here until 9 days, 7 days, 2 days. That's good news. Good news. Very, very good news. Here we have information on Americans being lost. One unfortunate British vessel was lost. Another British vessel was lost. Other than that, things are just going fairly okay at the moment. William Slim, are you ready to launch your operation? By all means, go. You have, you have a go here. Yeah. Whatever. What are they doing? Where are they even transporting the troops? Uh, somewhere, I suppose. Somewhere. They're always going. Okay. And, uh, yeah, okay. So they are still interrupting them. Three days. Fifteen hours. Oh, nine days. Fuck. That's not good. This invasion has turned into disaster, really. It has. So the CM has now joined and Russia, their, their pal, has joined as well. So now most of Eurasia Africa is uh, on our side. We're losing vessels a bit everywhere. I'm not a fan of that. Sure, it's just destroyers, which I have a million of, but it's not a, it's not good news. It's not really a morale boosting sort of deal. It sends more troops now for our budding forces. And I'm very interested in how this naval invasion is, will go. I mean, I can just do like this if I really wanted. Harold Alexander can get re, you know, redeployed over here. But yeah, Australia has been lost. Well, Harold Alexander, cancel all, all your dinner plans, whatnot. You're going somewhere else. I apologize. 
you and your entire army will redeploy to over here. No, not through the water. It seems highly irresponsible of me to do. Let's redeploy here. Walk. Use the railway. 